She's in trouble. I need to reach her. was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Apart from one shocking exception, in the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement, native species, always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but 
When one of our astral hunts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Are you still there? Shit. We're so close. We need to hurry. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need a talk. You got that right. More of you? There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Sakurai is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. 
Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied each with a different value on the pH scale from 0 to 14.
no response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to prepare further tests. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, He's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. me here? Any idea how to make it work? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, 
I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faye. Here, you'll need this keycard. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. I just want large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. That's that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to central research. Obstacle courses. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Seconds remaining. Guessing this isn't usually part of the course.
need to find a way to Blackrock Processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find a prism. Glad to see you're still you. Medic, what's the damage? Ranger the squad, Charlie 7, returned from we the next mission to the quarry threshold ASAP. just after. Figure stable enough to move. Oh, yeah? Please state We're your names and describe the purpose of your expedition. Now, now we're going to be behind. Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Wells. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Second your objective, as always, was to find the route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unreported events or entities while inside the threshold? You're fine. We'll push through this. No, The hiss of the world is doing the pushing, Doc. You think we should tell them about the Mermaid? Excuse me? Yeah, the Mermaid. Horowitz here found this Mermaid in a bar just sitting on some lab rock. She was singing this beautiful song and he was overcome with desire. Oh, she was so alluring. I'd say she was more enchanting than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CEO about this? No. I remember the deal. Because it didn't happen. Buy a shot. Nothing Bob happened. Shelf. As usual, the quarry is full of rocks. That's it. Can we go now? <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. Hey, thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the ranger said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and... Well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Fade. Be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. You showed me the HRA when I first got here. And the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Shit!
Let's hurry up and find Darling's lab. get us into the quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector that's that's where black rock comes from you heard that too right black rock comes from the threshold quarry so the prisms must be there too think of it as paranatural lead our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check that's what the black rock line fire breaks are about Panopticon container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need to go to the bio later. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Blackrock 665. Neighbor of the Beast. Get it? We can do that again. <laughs> Everything here is crazy, weird, but it feels right, like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even if all the best. what I expected.
prisms, they mean something to you. I need to get this prism to Marshall before it's too late. HRAs, then Dylan. Any word on survivors? We've located numerous. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six, codenamed P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Nothing simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right, uh, well, okay, hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon Supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. 
Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so, uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am. Call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell. 69! Get it? 69! I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before we find him. wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan its director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare this thing much longer.
the object of power. I need to cleanse it. with the TV. Now I can find Dylan.
got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. I don't need to get back. I have to see my brother. 